I'm not sure, good morning. Not sure if this will be as much of the sun as you'll get to see this morning. The last bit of fading shadow here as the sun hides behind the clouds. But for the WhatsApp group I sent out, a picture was glorious there two minutes ago, three minutes ago, where this red sun was peeping through the cloud and leaving a big path of red light right here on the water. There's still a little bit there. Who knows the way the cloud is, it mightn't be all strong, but it doesn't look too promising. <laughs> So we have a wonderful message this morning of human responsibility. I've amazed at all the flowers here for so long, so many months. Human responsibility, stewardship. There's a wonderful uh, truth in the concept of stewardship. Our various aspects of truth. There we have three purple herons together, one flying. Uh -huh. There's obviously some little antagonism there. That one left her perch. There's still one out there perched. Seems to be king of the castle. Stewardship. So the steward doesn't own the property, doesn't own the assets, but is charged with the responsibility of their good functioning. and productivity that to fulfill their purpose. And it's actually a great word to identify, to express, to define who we are in creation and who we are in society. Even if we have legal ownership and are paying our taxes. As dull as the morning is, isn't that wonderful color of the water? Wonderful sky reflection. And even if we have title deeds, and even if we have protection of security, and we say we own things, we can disappear from the map in a moment. And another thing that can disappear are the things themselves, the markets, the machinery, the technology can fail or can be left obsolete and lose its value. And we are stewards and our responsibility is to provide the leadership, the management, the oversight, the attention, and we could say also the love. Because if we're stewarding something, there's somebody for whom we are stewarding it. 
And if we do it just as a paid servant, or we do it out of a wonderful, healthy relationship, a friendship of goodness, And then stewardship becomes a trust, an entrusting, uh, a vote of confidence, an expression of confidence. It becomes uh, a relationship uh, that's unique because not everybody is chosen to be a steward. Not everybody has the wherewithal. And on the other hand, the very relationship we have with our Creator, for all of us who believe that our world has been personally created with love as our habitat where we live, and it's entrusted to us then even people with limited stewardship capacities still have stewardship. The parents ask the older sibling to take care of the child while they're running out for an errand. Something is needed from the store. One of the children is not so well. An older sibling is charged with responsibility. So we are all in charge with the development of our lives, with people entrusted to our care, and the stewardship can switch from the child, from the parent to the child eventually, and the child is taking care of the aging parent, providing for them, making sure they're properly attended to, have their medical care, the provisions that their house is up, kept up even though maybe aging people can neglect essentials because of lack of abilities anymore. Stewardship, what a beautiful uh, responsibility. And then that applies also to the faith, to the church. And there Jesus gives us a, a wise insights from Two things. One of them I can talk about, the other one I can't. About wines, wineskins, old wineskins and new wineskins, old wine and new wine. I always relinquish the responsibility of choosing wines to others when the occasion arises to choose a wine. I wouldn't claim any expertise, but patches I know a lot about. <laughs> because when we were children, all the farmer's clothes were patched. And some patches were better done than others. And you never used new cloth to patch old. And both of the metaphors used here, the, the wine uh, containers and the, the wine skins and the patching, and they're very basically similar and it's about knowing the new and the old. And there's another proverb in there about the wise man who knows how to take out good things from the old and from the new, from the storehouse. Again, it's a stewarding role. And that stewarding role is also a, a role of, of uh, somebody's having a swim over there, one of our guests. So, 
And there we have, sometimes it's difficult for people to deal with the new in the church, to deal with new developments because of changing circumstances. And also to respect and to understand the old and what goes with it. And that's wisdom. And a good steward knows how to take care of both. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit to the Lord your way, trust in him and he will act. What a consoling line today from Psalm 37. Commit to the Lord your way, trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light, bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. That great patience that allows the Lord to be the, the head director of all the stewarding. God bless you. See you later, alligators.